Hi, welcome to the Moodle workshop video tutorial. Uh, you have two steps that are going to take place. The first is you write something and then you submit it to the workshop module on Moodle. The second step is after everybody has submitted their work, people are assigned to assess each other's work based on certain criteria. Let's start. First go to your course on Moodle and go down until you find the workshop. I'm using a test workshop. Find the workshop that you're going to be submitting to. You've written your story, you've written your piece. Click on the workshop. Go to the place where it says start preparing your submission. Click on that. Give your submission a name demo bio. Then you have two ways to put your work into the workshop. You only have to use one of these. In your word processor you can highlight your text and then you can go and paste it into Moodle. The other way is you can go to your browser, downsize your browser, click on the file and then drag it down into Moodle and it will be loaded into Moodle that way. You only need to do one of these. I have done both ways just to show you, but you only need to do one of them. Okay, save changes, done. Now, so long as you are in the submission phase, you may go back and edit your work. However, once it has switched to the assessment phase, then you can no longer change your work. Okay, you've submitted your work, next step, you've been assigned usually two people to assess. Go to your page in workshop, click on assess, and you will see the person's work. In this case, I'm assessing my own work. Now, it's easier to take this, copy it, or the other way you can do it is click on the work, open it, And then when it's open, what you're going to do is you're going to resize the windows. First, I'll resize my browser. So it's a half-sized window. And then as soon as the work is opened in the word processing program, I will size that to be a half a size screen also. Then I'm going to define the work. Move the margins so it's about a half page wide. Resize that screen. Put the text in the middle. In this case, I can make the text a little wider. Okay. Now I have the two things side by side. So here is the assessment. What's going to happen is you will see aspects. This is a list of ways you need to evaluate the person's writing. Normally, our first one is does it have good English or are there things that sound like they're not English? So you read through the person's text. Astrid Johnson, who was born in 1960, when she was eight, she won the award. When Johnson was 11, the idea is not to tell them what to do in terms of correcting. The idea is to say, here's a place where I think you need to improve it. Here's a place where I think it's not as good as it could be. So you're suggesting the place, you're not telling them what to do. Give myself a couple spaces. I'm going to write not English, really. Tut, tut, tut. Put, put quotes and I paste in the thing. The other thing I want to do is I want to do good English. And so I type something like that. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to look at the person's text. And here's a nice sentence. When she was eight, she won the award for young musician of the year and toured with the Swedish Youth Orchestra. Okay, good. Uh, you will do more than this. I'm just giving you a demonstration. Overall, the reading, if this was B2, I'd be giving it probably a 7. For B1, we're talking probably a 8 or 8 or a 9. Let's make it an 8 just so you'll feel better when you get an 8. If you get a 9, then you can celebrate. Okay, organization, paragraph structure. Now, in this one, Almost every sentence is a new paragraph. So here I would say, uh, needs to be reorganized into paragraphs. Okay. 
for example, and now what I'm going to say is the first, let's see, these first three sentences, she was born, she was eight, she was 11. They're all when she's a child. Combine these. For example, combine these into one paragraph. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, boom, quote, and the sentences. Okay. Put a quote on the end. Uh, for the paragraph structuring, if it's good, it's good. If it's not, make a suggestion. In this one, for the paragraph, I would give a seven or even a six, to be honest. Sentence structure. Clear subject and verb, nouns and pronouns, verb tenses. Uh, verb problem here, born, okay, verb problem. When she finished her study, she has traveled all over the world and she has played on world concerts. Boom, and boom, okay. Uh, B2, the writing for this is a six or a seven. Uh, relative clauses. This is combining ideas. For example, in the beginning here, Astrid Johnson was born in 1960, started playing the cello at age of three, and when she was eight, she won the award for Young Musician of the Year and toured with the Swedish Youth Orchestra. In this one, it would just be a parallel sentence structure. I would just have a list of the things she did. So here I could say, uh, combine using parallel structure. Okay, basically it's parallel structure is using a list of things. Okay, and when you do something like this, you put a plus when you're saying combine, put a plus in between each section you think should be combined. Uh, let's see if I can find a place where we can use relative clauses, advanced structures. So you also want to say positive things. So here's a good use of relative pronoun. And I put that in and say, nice work. Uh, there's some other places here. Uh, for example, she, this person, or I, since I wrote it, I guess I should say he. He could combine these here, relative pronouns. Combine using parallel structure is another one. Relative pronoun. Uh, and then writing style and conventions, things that are standard or not standard. Uh, let's see. She got rewarded for a, with a prize is a little funny, so a little odd. I would say here, a little odd. Here's a strange English, not really English. The water was born to her. Just notice that. Let's take that up to the top to not English. Uh, number one, not English really. Famous woman studied not only cello. Is another one. Okay. Uh, so, you go through the whole thing this way, jump around a little bit, uh, advanced structures, relative clauses, seven, uh, we're going down things that are a little odd. Here's a nice sentence, actually, good English here, nice writing. This could be, also, you could put this into number one if you wanted to for English, but also I'm putting it there. And for writing styles and conventions, giving them an eight, and then you save and you close and the assessment is done. The first couple of times you do this, you won't be sure what you're doing. At least most people are not sure what they're doing. But once you get other people's assessments of your work and you see what they wrote about your work and you realize, oh, this was helpful here, but this over here didn't help me. Then when you start assessing other people's work, you'll say, oh, I remember this kind of thing is helpful to me. I can tell this person the same thing. or you'll remember, oh, somebody wrote this about my writing, it didn't help me a bit, and so I need to find a different way to express these things. The cycle of writing, assessing other people, having your work assessed, reading what they assessed, and then writing again, in this cycle, by the third cycle, by your third piece and the third peer review, things should be relatively clear. But
Okay? Uh, if you have any questions, please ask me in class or send me an email. I look forward to seeing you in class. Thank you very much. Goodbye.